Now we're setting up the fixtures for tension mode. Tension is best for softer samples or thin films or fiber samples. First, you have to make sure the geometry disk is aligned to the correct position. If it's not at the correct position, we need to take this off and turn 90 degrees. The correct position is the distance between these holes and these holes are 45 millimeters. So once we turn that geometry disk to the correct position, we are going to put these nuts back to secure the geometry disk. Then we are going to install the inner clamp to the drive shaft with these smaller hex screws. Then we install the fixed pillars. There are two spacers with different lengths. Based on the sample length, we can choose this long one or the short, short one or the combination of the two for the longest sample, which is going to be 10 millimeters long. For example, right now, we have a longer sample, so I'm putting on both spacers on each paler and the outer clamp on, secured with the hex nuts. Once the outer plate or clamp is securely placed on the fixed palers, we can loosen these two nuts so we can load the sample. For a typical film sample, uh, the length is at least 25 millimeters long and the thickness, uh, as long as it's not breaking when it's being stretched, it's fine. Uh, the width of the sample is typically 5 millimeters wide. So you can slide in the sample into the inner clamps too while holding the sample straight the inner clamp is tightened. Now you can tighten the outer clamp and cut the sample to remove the excessive part and use a caliper to measure the sample length and enter that into the software.